how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. First of all, let's just address the elephant in the room. Originally tonight was supposed to be co-op with my wife, Kat. We were going to start Beyond Two Souls, all right? What happened? Well, it seems like this playthrough, we came up with the idea for this playthrough about a month ago, all right? And it just seems like it's like destined to have problems. Seriously, like, we just can't get this thing going. First, we wanted to do it, but I was stuck in the midst of playing so many lengthy RPGs and trying to push to finish them, it didn't make sense to start it then, because I needed to finish those RPGs to get the variety back on the channel. So I did that, right? Like, I, I pushed hard. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna, and we got them all done. Then originally, we were gonna do it, like, two weeks ago, on a Tuesday night, and basically didn't go, you know, my, my wife wasn't up to it that week. She changed her mind and was basically like, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling it. Too much else going on. Let's let's delay it. So he said, all right, we'll do it the next week. We were gung-ho 100% locked in schedule to do it this last Tuesday, which would have been what? Um, the 9th, right? April 9th? We were 100% ready to go. We, had every, we have all the stuff we need. We have two of these headsets now. So each of us can have one when we do it. We bought all these wire. We bought a splitter wire. We bought extra headphone cables for it and everything. You know, we got a chair. for. We're ready. We're raring to go. I bought, I bought fun. The game was on sale last month. I got it for like 12 bucks on PSN. It's installed. It's like, we are 100% good to go. I almost feel bad oh, for him. What ends up happening is, uh, my wife's work basically changed her schedule on her. Unbeknownst to her, they didn't even tell her. She just happened to be checking the schedule online. And it's like, the whole schedule's different. She's like, wait, what? I've had the same schedule set for a while. Why would they do this and not even talk to me about it? Right? So, it threw our whole week into it for a loop. Remember, we were going to take Wednesday off this week, past week, because April 10th is our wedding anniversary. So we were going to have that as our day off. We were going to have a longer streaming week this week. And you know, we wanted to be together for our wedding anniversary. But because they changed her work schedule, that all got had to get changed. So our day off ended up being the day after our wedding anniversary. And because of her work schedule change, we couldn't do the co-op on Tuesday. Now, originally we were thinking about maybe we'll cram it in on Wednesday night, maybe. And we were talking about that and saying, let's do it. But then we realized, you know, to cram it in on the Wednesday night when she'd been working nonstop all week, plus that we were going to go out the entire Thursday. We would rather have a relaxing night the night before our entire busy day out. So we decided against it. And we're like, nah, let's not do the co-op. I'll do a regular night stream and, you know, we'll have a day out and then we'll have it. So we talked about it. We we're like, when should we do it then? And we realized, you know, it might make more sense to do it on a weekend because typically she doesn't have to work weekends. Not every time. Because like I said, this work, her schedule could change, but typically she's not working over weekends. So we're like, maybe like Saturday nights would be perfect because number one, she won't be overly exhausted from working. Number two, it's a night, you know, usually typically on, on, on weekends, more people can attend, right? People aren't in school, aren't in work, they're out and they can come by and stream a little bit more. Like, well, a lot of people want to see our stew co-op. It'd be pretty cool if we do the co-op on the weekend, we'll probably get more viewers. So we totally agreed to this. Like, yeah, this is great, this will work out, right? So then here's what happened is we had our day out on Thursday and it was a great day. Don't get me wrong, we did a lot of fun stuff together. Uh, did some shopping, had a great dinner. We talked about it on the podcast yesterday, how good of a day it was, right? Um, but basically, because of that, we were behind on stuff. Like, my wife is behind on things she would normally do, like like loads of laundry and doing certain housework and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> you know, this morning, we get up and we're having breakfast and we're talking about it. And we're kind of like, yeah, you know, we're still on par. We're going to do the co-op tonight. And I could already tell a little bit that maybe Kat was a little like... That guy needs to be kicked in the freaking balls. Frazzled about it. And you know, I didn't know why or anything. But, you know, we're still set to do it. So, I did my first stream, and I, as I finished my first stream, I went downstairs into the kitchen. And here's Kat, hurriedly trying to finish dinner. And that's surprising, because usually she's done with dinner. A lot of times she finishes dinner early. And she's rushing to try to finish dinner as I'm coming down from my stream, and I know immediately something's wrong. And you can tell she's really stressed out. And I said, oh, what's going on? She goes, so I'm trying to do one thing, and another thing goes wrong. I try to do the next thing, and the next thing goes wrong. I said, so basically, it's one of those... Murphy's Law situations, right? As as I'm in the kitchen with my wife and she's trying to finish dinner, a noise goes up. It's our washing machine. She's trying to wash clothes. And this washing machine has errored out saying uneven load three times. So she's been trying to do a load of clothes for over an hour and can't even finish it because the goddamn washer keeps saying uneven load. 
So I said, I'll go look at the washer. You focus on dinner. Let's work together. Let's figure all this out. I don't even know what's wrong, what was wrong with the load of clothes. Honestly, I went in and it was just a bunch of towels and a few pieces of clothing. It's like, I don't know why it's saying uneven load. I have no idea. You know, I'm separating it. What are we supposed to do? You separate it out so they're not lumped together. You toss them back in fresh, even though they're soaked. You know, you got to keep doing that so that they won't keep doing that, right? So. Oh my God, he's drinking piss. Sit, that's wrong. He says it means the load is too heavy. That's not what it means. What it means is somehow what's in your washer has become loaded to like one side or clumped together to the point where the washer can't effectively move the clothes anymore. They're stuck in place. So then it stops to prevent the washer from moving across your floor or causing damage to the washer. So anyway, um, basically we, you know, I, I cleared it up, right? I go to start the washer again. I stupidly hit the power button. Instead of the resume button, I hit the power button. So it resets the whole goddamn thing. Now I don't need to wash the clothes a whole full setting again. So I go to, I'm like, well, I'll wait. So I gotta call the cat. Cat, I screwed everything up because I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. I screwed the whole load up. What do I do? <laughs> is this is going to be the whole stream. So now she has to leave the kitchen where she's trying to cook to come over to the laundry room to show me how to use the washer because I'm an idiot. Right? So it's like, why did I even help? I just made, I just complicated things even worse. Right? <laughs> so finally, we, we get it going again on like a short cycle. It's like 15 minute short cycles, so like short spin cycle or something like that. Right? <laughs> Go back to the kitchen. So basically trying to finish and I could tell Cat is completely stressed out. And I said, so what's going on? And she's like, basically, the whole week has been a shit show, right? Ever since the work schedule changed earlier this week, and then she had to work more days and different times, it threw her schedule off. So here she is, she's behind on all this stuff. And she's like, I need to get clothes done today. I need to do I need to do this, this. She's like, tell me all the stuff she has to do. And she's like, I would have had it all done. But that work throwing me off, and then we had our day off for our anniversary. If we had stayed home that day, I would have had more time to catch up, but we didn't. We went out, and not that she regrets that. She loved having the day out, but basically she just can't play. She's been playing catch up all week and hasn't yet, right? And I'm like, well, what do you want to do? You know, and, and basically here's what I, here's my actual honest take on this, okay? Why on earth are we going to be doing co-op tonight if she's going to be stressed out, Right? The whole idea of us coming in here and doing anything together on a stream is that it's supposed to be a fun atmosphere, right? We're going to have fun together. We're going to play a game. We're going to talk and do Q&A with the audience or whatever it may be, right? If she's already stressed out and now she's going to come in here and try to play a game, you know that's just going to translate into her demeanor and her enjoyment of the stream in general. And you also know, let's be honest, you also know that the trolls are going to be here. I already see some of them in chat saying dumb shit. I'm kind of ignoring them now to at least give my explanation. But... That's the thing, like, what's the point of doing a late night stream with my wife where we're supposed to be having fun together if she's not going to have fun because she's stressed out? It doesn't make sense, right? So I said to her, I said, if you're stressed out and all you want to do tonight is play catch up or do some relaxing or whatever you want to do, that's perfectly fine. Just tell me now and that way we're not being forced into a situation where we're doing a stream that's not going to work because, you know, we're going to be stressed out and upset or whatever. And she's like, yeah, I definitely I don't want to do it. She's like, I want to do it. I want to do it. But let's do it on a week when I'm not so stressed out because everything, she's so backed up and everything. Okay? So basically, we agreed that we're going to do it next weekend. Really? That's hilarious. We're going to do it next Saturday night. She wants to do it badly. She wants to play this game. And she, in fact, of course, she was very apologetic. She's like, I'm, I'm nervous now. Is everyone going to be upset? I said, you don't have to worry. It's like, listen, number one, all right? This is our life together. It's not dictated by what happens on one of my work streams, right? Just because we told them we're going to do co-op, it doesn't mean that's the end of, of the world, and now we're all hugely have to be committed to doing this. It's ridiculous, right? It's supposed to be something nice in addition to something that we already do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not the end of the world. Not everyone's going to freak out, you know? It's not, and that's the thing. I think she, she genuinely feels sad and worried that people aren't going to want to see the co-op now because it keeps getting rescheduled. So what I basically have to say is it's this simple. I, when she's ready to come on and do it, we'll do it. And she says, let's do it next Saturday. She wanted to do it tonight, but it's just things just kept getting backed up and backed up and backed up and backed up to the point where it's like, to even come on here tonight, she's going to feel so stressed. That, what's the point, right? Oh my God, he's drinking sperm. That's exactly right, Orange. Orange says, it's okay, tell Cat she just doesn't owe us anything. Correct, right? Like, absolutely correct. She doesn't owe anyone anything. She doesn't have to be on a stream. There's no commitment. We, if she really doesn't want to do the co-op. We never have to do it. But she wants to. Like, she genuinely wants to do it. It just, things keep happening. This guy is 1 million percent a pathological liar and a sociopath. Someone was saying the other day, have you ever thought about claiming 
the detractor videos because they use your content and they even though they have the right to use it via fair use they really don't have the right to advertise on it that retains your your right that's why people do content id claims on youtube to begin with so you know you're i mean you're right at the same time i don't there's no i don't know how i would use content id i'm not a big company who can register for it i don't have money and lawyers <laughs> to, to, you know what i mean to team up on that I, i'm happy to get attention the problem is i know for a fact 99 percent of the content out there people do not Oh, this is just in jest. Now I'll go actually check out Phil for real. No, almost no one does that, you know? Oh my god, he's drinking acid. Uric acid. So, it's like what they say. Don't fight fire with fire. That's why I don't do that. Uh, but, you know, hey, if that's the case, right? If that's the case, then people come watch. I'm, I, I, I enjoy that, you know? Saying Rogue says if it's fair use, then it's not your content anymore. Uh, wrong. Wrong. At least per YouTube guidelines. I don't know about the actual legality of it. I'm not a lawyer. Per YouTube, it doesn't matter if you use something to be a fair use or not. You're able to use it and not get copyright stricken. But the ad rights still re go back to the, the owner. And they can content ID match your video. And there's nothing you can do about it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You can argue it. You can argue against it. But that's what they do. They, uh, they sadly just give it over to the person who claims content ID. I, I don't believe that's right. I really don't. I don't think that's right. But that's how YouTube treats it. Because YouTube, the way YouTube looks is we don't want to get involved in anything. So if you get claimed, you get claimed. Tough shit. What a great system, huh? That's why I said, that's why I don't want to fight fire with fire. I wouldn't even do that. You know, I'm not interested in it. Sure. There you go. And uh, thank you all for the support. Hanging out with me tonight, impromptu. I know it works. Again, we can't do this all the time. But if I do like once a month, it seems to work nicely, right? It's enough split between them that it feels fresh and interesting. So there you have it. All right. So everyone, thank you. Everyone watching on demand, thank you. Thanks for a chill night. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks to those who supported. Thanks to those who hung out. And uh, probably see you at some point in May for kind of a similar stream. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the money, dummies. Because that's exactly what you fucking are. A bunch of fucking empty-headed idiots who paid me money to get absolutely nothing out of it. Thanks. <laughs> wow there's still this back here and it's still in the back of my neck the back of my head the back of my mind and it's always telling me it's wwe champions time i love it oh, i love it is, is a mobile game addict phil has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it by ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency no respect no common sense no fucking maturity is the guy who just doesn't get reality <laughs> Ha 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 ha!